<clears throat> let me pick up where I left off. Let me pick up where I left off. So I believe all blacks should have access to psychiatric. And that, that might not be the best thing because that considers drugs and more drug usage. And black people don't need to walk around with drugs and drug usage. But, but, but $1 billion accessible only to be used for psychological help. Psych, psych help. We, we have, you cannot, and we say, well, coach, why you say that? You cannot take, kidnap, rape, sodomize, mutilate, decapitate, murder 12.5 million black people and think their descendants are going to all be okay. We need psychological help. And I believe all black people should have $1 billion to psych, to psych, psychological help, emotional help, mental help. That's what we need. Congressmen, uh, senators, governors. That's what we need. P please, please pass that legislation. We need $1 billion for every black person to be able to go see a qualified, certified, board certified psychologist. You cannot kidnap, rape, mutilate, sodomize, uh, decapitate um, men and women. This is history our history, my history, in front of their children, separate their children from the dad, pin the wife against the husband, pin the husband against his wife, separate the father from and the mother from their children and think that decades later, we're going to be okay. And we're not. And this is the result you see. And then you tell them after you have sodomized, raped, kidnapped, continue to kidnap, continue to hang them, um, you sick dogs on them, you, you know, you beat them, you, you, you pour ketchup. This is the civil rights era I'm moving into. Pour ketchup in their head, spit on them, sick dogs on them, put water holes on them, uh, put bombs on them, intimidate them, put crosses on their front yard, hang them from trees, hang them, you know, cut off their, 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 their reproductive appendages. So, you know, I'm not an idiot because educated people know what reproductive appendage is. Um, you, you cannot do that to a people in front of their children's children and think as a race collectively, we're going to be OK. We're not OK. No black person in their right mind. And we all got a family member. If it's not us, it's somebody in our family that needs help, psychological help, mental help, emotional help. And it's not enough to go to the church and black people have been covering up their pain and their hurt and their suffering and their mental torment by go to church, go to church, pray about it. Prayer is passive. You need active help. You need to be actively engaged in your help and your process to help yourself to get better, to do better, to obtain more, to be a healed and whole individual. We need psychological help. And I believe that's the right and appropriate res uh, reparations, not a check to go buy groceries and TVs because that's damn coronavirus checks. Now I'm a retail manager. I'm a re customer service manager. I'm like, they sent you a check and you buying a damn 60 inch TV. Really? Really? Seriously? That's what you did with your coronavirus check. You brought a goddamn TV. So don't send no more checks out unless it's a billion dollars, one billion dollars in help, psychological help, mental help, emotional help. That's what black America needs right now. That way we can have we can focus on the healing of our communities. We can rebuild our communities from within. These black boys and these grown ass black men can stop when they pull over. Man, why you pull me over, bruh? Bruh, look, let me tell you something, bruh. Why you pulling a nigga like me over, man? I'm a real nigga, man. Call, let me tell you something, call. Bruh, Brad, Brad, no, I ain't doing, no, I ain't gonna show you my license. Cause, well, I ain't got my license on me, but, but, but my home is right over here. 
My home right over there, bread. Bread, let me tell you something, bread. Cool, let me, cool, uh-uh, 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 uh-u